Hello and welcome to another Android Quick Tip. In this one we're going to be going over how to speed up the performance of your Android emulator so that you can debug your applications more efficiently. And we're going to do this by installing the Intel Hardware Accelerated Execution Manager, or Haxum for short. So the first step is to open up the Android SDK Manager here and navigate to the very bottom folder, the Extras folder, and check the Intel x86 Emulator Accelerator. Now we're going to be installing a new emulator, but we want to also have a new image to run on that emulator that's compatible with the virtual processor we're going to be emulating. And in, or in order to do that, you want to select the API level that you're going to be supporting on this emulator and check the Intel x86 Atom system image and that will be compatible with the new emulator we're installing. So we'll click install two packages, we will accept both licenses and click install and Eclipse will go ahead and download the packages for you and install them. Now my word choice there was actually a little misleading. The Android SDK Manager does in fact download both packages but it only installs the system image, it doesn't install the Haxam emulator for us. So we're going to have to do that manually. So go ahead and open up your file explorer and navigate to this Intel folder here which is in the developer SDK under the extras folder and you'll see that we have the hardware accelerated execution manager here and we'll notice the simple install here click that and we'll go through the installation process all the default values are fine for now and once we have completed the installation we'll click finish and we now have an emulator and an image and we're all ready to create a new Android virtual device so for the last step here we'll go ahead and create the device we'll go to the AVD up here create a new device we're gonna call this Haxam device we're going to have it run on a Nexus 5, API level 19 is fine. Make sure we select the Intel Atom CPU. The skin, we'll do no skin for now. We'll change the RAM to 512 to keep Windows happy here. And you also want to make sure you're using the host GPU so you're rendering graphics really quickly using this new emulator and image that we've installed. So we'll start the device and go ahead and launch it and you'll immediately see some feedback from everything you've done already. The device is going to start up much quicker and it's going to be much more responsive when you're using it to debug your applications. So you'll see after a few seconds of the Android screen here the emulator will start up and we'll be good to go and use our emulator as we see fit. We can switch between screens and applications much more fluidly and in general it's just a better experience to be using this emulator when you're debugging your applications. Of course applications will also launch much more quickly on this advanced device. And that's it for this quick tip but don't forget to check out some of the other content on my channel using the annotations on the left side of the video here. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video.